be here. I guess uh, probably a good idea to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I was conceived in 1951 by two people I don't know. Uh, fortunately, Roe versus Wade was not the law of the land at that period of time. Because it had been 1992, I might be standing here to talk to you. But there was a couple named Bill and Maxine Smith who lived in Corpus Christi who lost a daughter to leukemia, just short of her 15th birthday. And they wanted another child, and so fortunately their doctor, a guy named Foy Moody, for whom Corpus Christi Moody High School is named, uh, went to church with them and knew about me. And so on April the 24th, five days after I was born, Bill and Maxine came and picked me up in San Antonio. Uh, lived a nomadic life as a kid. Uh, my dad worked for Humble Oil, so it's sort of like being in the military. We lived in a lot of places. When Dad uh, retired from Humble in 1966, we were living in Los Angeles, California. Uh, as I tell people, I've lived every year of my life in Texas except for five years I spent in exile in California. <laughs> uh, we came back and came to Cisco, Texas, which is my dad's hometown. Uh, that's sort of what I call home. I went to Abilene Christian as an undergraduate. Uh, got a degree in music education, fully intending to be a band director. And had a friend who said, they got to go to law school. And so I figured I would, and I thought, well, if things don't work out, then, of course, I've still got my teaching certificate in my drawer. And I have it in my drawer at my office at the courthouse today, just to remind me, I can go be a band director if I want to be. I've been a district judge for 13 years. I was a county court of law judge prior to that. I was a municipal court judge in College Station prior to that. I've been practicing law for 34 years after graduating from the University of Texas. Went to Bryan. Uh, I became a judge because some people thought I would do a good job as a municipal judge in College Station. And as an elected judge for 17 years, I think I've done a pretty good job as well. Uh, I'm running for three basic reasons for Chief Justice of the Fifth Court of Appeals. One of which is my serious concern about the public's confidence in the judiciary and the requirement for judges to be the lodestar as terms of conduct does. Uh, there have been some things that have happened in the court the last three or four years that I think are unfortunate and brought some, uh, some bad news around our state to our court of appeals. That's one of the reasons I'm running. The second reason I'm running is I think it's a good idea for a appellate judge to have had some trial judge experience. Uh, I think Justice Gray will probably get up here and say, I've never been an appellate judge, and that's right. He's exactly right when he says that. I'll point out that before he was elected, he'd never been an appellate judge either. And he'd never been a trial judge, except for a short period of time in the municipal court in Rice, city of Rice, Texas. Janet, good evening. Hi, How are you? Good. Uh, I'm also board certified in civil trial law. Most of the cases that come to the court are criminal cases. And that's another area where I think I'm distinctive from the present Chief Justice. I don't believe the Chief Justice, and he can correct me if I'm wrong, has had any real experience in trying criminal cases, either as a lawyer or certainly as a judge. I've tried four death penalty cases. Now, I'm not going to try death penalty cases here because those cases can appeal directly to the Court of Criminal Appeals. But I've tried serious criminal cases that do get sent to the Court of Appeals. And I think having the perspective of a person who has tried those cases, handled them, seen the defendants, seen the lawyer's conduct, seen how cases are tried, I'm in a uniquely good position to decide those cases based on the law and based on the facts. Because I can tell you what happened. I can see in that record what people were doing at the trial court level. And as I said, I'm board certified in civil trial law. Uh, and I have been since 1988. Uh, let me just tell you quickly about my judicial leadership. I just served a term as chair of the judicial session of the State Bar of Texas. I would tell you, feel comfortable in asking attorneys about who they would support in this race. But I will also tell you that I think it's an honor to be a judge who is selected by other judges all throughout the state of Texas to lead them in their section of the state bar of Texas. If 
Finally, uh, I also teach. I teach at the National Judicial College and the Texas Center for the Judiciary, as well as the folks at the uh, Justice Court Training Center, Christy. I appreciate your vote on April the 3rd or April the 17th or whenever you have it. <laughs>